Jeff from Valley City Brewing, and uh, it's not going to be that type of movie. Now, forget what the title says, it's a little bit different. Um, what I am going to do tonight is I'm going to do a review. I've uh, been a big fan of the uh, Moonshiner show, uh, Discovery, and uh, saw that Tim Smith had launched his own brand of Moonshine, which is Climax Moonshine. I talked to, uh, actually, uh, I mentioned with Lermo 22 that uh, I got my first bottle, but I hadn't tried it yet. So I figured I'd try it on uh, video. So, I'll show you the bottle. It's Climax Moonshine. It's got his dog on there. Got a little bio. It's got the ingredients, which is uh, pretty much corn, barley. Rye. Um, tried some of the other brands of moonshine with cherries and you know this, that, and the other into a blueberries. Um, but this is supposed to be as close to actual moonshine from the still, the old fashioned way that you can get in a commercial brand. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and open this up and we'll give it a shot. So I haven't even opened it. I've seen some other videos where people chilled it and stuff like that, but I want to get the actual flavor of it and some aroma off of it and see what it actually tastes like and smells like. So, now the uh, top, it's not a screw top, it is a cork in the bottle. So, I come over there and uh, that's what it looks like. So, So, so Climax Moonshine, very clear, yeah, really clear, <laughs> distilled, it's supposed to be 45%, uh, uh, yeah, 45% by volume, so it's 90 proof. My wife collects shot glasses, this is what we got from Florida. Nice little gator shot glass, so we're going to give this a shot. Oh yeah. Almost smells like tequila. Got a little bit of a uh, rye in there and uh, a little bit of corn but as I said I haven't chilled this we'll see if uh, the next time I drink this if I chill it but uh, let's give it a try it's very smooth um, definitely uh, taste the corn in it it's not is bitey as what uh, some of the other commercial brand uh, moonshines with the cherries and everything else, where they just smack you in the face. Uh, this is definitely a lot smoother. Because it definitely uh, got the uh, alcohol flavor to it also. I don't know if uh, 70 degrees is the way to drink this or not, but no, let's just down the rest of this. So here we go. Oh man, I'm gonna try some more of that. Get a little more to go in here. That's Climax Moonshine. I'm trying Tim Smith's Climax Moonshine. Well, cheers, bottoms up. Still tastes like, uh, still has that uh, tequila aroma. Almost has a aroma of lime. 
time in it already, but let's go for it. Cheers. Wow, that's some seriously good moonshine. So, that being said, I'm going to do just one more. Tim Smith's Climax Moonshine. It is really smooth compared to the stuff that has like the cherries, the blueberries, or any of that novelty stuff on the shelves. This is much smoother than what that is. So, cheers. I know it's not over Wednesday or anything like that, but um, hopefully through this video we'll get it out there that uh, we're all home brewers. We uh, brew beer at home. And, uh, just like the moonshiners make uh, their moonshine at home. And uh, subscribe to the video, or subscribe to my channel, like the video. Uh, there's a lot of other brew tubers out there that brew and uh, share their videos online. Go ahead and search for Homebrew Wednesday, and I'm sure you'll come up with a whole bunch of us that uh, enjoy brewing out of our house have kegerators, have made teasers, freezers that have turned into kegerators with four, six, whatever taps on them. So, cheers, have a good one, and we'll talk to you soon.